Well, with a massive electoral victory on its side, National Conference Vice President Omar Abdullah on Tuesday has said that uh, he will work towards a healthy relationship with the Union Government and the Union Territories LG. He has, however, said that statehood is a priority and that he will keep the conversation going on about Article 370. Now, he has stressed on addressing people's problems first. Remember, once he becomes uh, the Chief Minister, Omar Abdullah faces the huge challenge of administration, particularly since JNK now is a uh, Union Territory with the LG wielding most power including formal control of JNK police transfers and postings of government of officers. Meanwhile, the Congress party has been relegated from a junior partner in the, uh, in the incoming uh, JNK government to a relative non-entity after four independent MLAs also extended support to the National Conference, uh, which is the big brother in this alliance that won uh, the week's alliance. Now, uh, the NC now has the support of 46 lawmakers, the majority mark in the 90-member House. This, of course, does not include the five to be nominated by the LG. Um, now, the question that we're asking is LG or Chief Minister, who is going to wield the real power in JNK and what kind of uh, balancing act will the new Chief Minister Omar Abdullah have to play uh, to just do his job as the head of the Union Territory? That's what we will talk about now. We'll be joined by political guests. But uh, Nija Chaudhary first, uh, ma'am, tell us, uh, you know, what exactly, how exactly do you see Omar Abdullah sort of uh, uh, countering or in some, some ways navigating this challenge because this manifest in many ways is uh, against a lot of things that the BJP stands for, but he has uh, struck a very cordial note. He has said that he is going to work, he's going to have a proper working relationship with the, with the LG. But what kind of challenges do you see him facing in the next few months? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got huge challenges, but he's also the man of the moment. It is a rare opportunity, despite all the constraints of running this government with lots of powers with the LG and statehood not there, and statehood still denied to this, uh, to Jammu and Kashmir, which is something they will be uh, agitating for, asking for. But uh, Omar Abdullah, even before he was sworn in, struck a very conciliatory note. He called the prime minister an honorable person. He reminded him that the PJP had uh, 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 promised to restore statehood. He sought a new relationship with the Raj Bhavan. So, uh, and he also talked about, you know, in, uh, uh, including Jammu as uh, stakeholders in the running of the government because the BJP has emerged as the party that represents Jammu and the NC as the party rep representing the valley. And so the, 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 that's a very difficult situation. Now, of course, uh, the Congress, I don't know whether the Congress has sent its letter of support. Uh, Rahul Gandhi had not at least publicly congratulated uh, Omar Abdullah, which was being commented upon surprisingly. So whether he's done it in private, we don't know. Right. Of course, the PCC president did go and congratulate him, I'm told. Mm. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, given this whole uh, Jammu versus Valley, Hindu Jammu versus Muslim uh, Valley, and a state that has been troubled for decades, uh, yes, certainly... Uh, Omar Abdullah has his task cut out and, uh, you know, uh, has the best wishes of the rest of the country. And uh, let's see how he navigates the difficult terrain that he's called to do today. Right. Tuhin Sina of the BJP is also with us. Uh, Tuhin, the political structure of uh, Jammu and Kashmir as laid out by the new Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act of 2019, uh, uh, you know, highlights some very significant powers that's vested in the LG. You know, it makes them uh, quite powerful. How do you see, uh, and also the BJP and the center have faced criticism when it comes to some governors in many states, uh, you know, over their alleged uh, excesses or for that matter, uh, uh, you know, over asserting themselves in matters of governance. Uh, do you think the center and, and for that matter the LG will also have to be a little more careful because this is NC and it has shown a lot of predominance when it comes to electoral successes. It has 46 MLAs now. Well, in Jammu and Kashmir, these changes were required to really improve the national security situation because we have seen that both the parties over there, in fact, the Congress also in Jammu and Kashmir have had a soft corner towards extremists. And when it comes to national conference, if you go into the history of national conference, right from the Kashmir conspiracy case of 1953, their role at times have been dubious. So these additional powers vested in the LG were required. Statehood is a given. You know, there was a certain chronology to be followed. First was delimitation, second was elections and followed by statehood. So statehood, obviously, with, with the two earlier, uh, you know, uh, things having taken place, 
statehood is next. But, you know, again, we would not rush into it because, like I mentioned, the national security situation has improved, uh, is, is a huge um, uh, consideration over there. And it has taken us a very long time to normalize things in Kashmir where, where militancy has come down by a good 80% um, where uh, the role of Pakistan has been nullified. And I think we will be extra careful from here going ahead. Right. Ifra Jan of NC is also with us. Ifra, thank you for joining us. From 2009 to January 2015, Omar Abdullah led JNK as the chief minister. But we all saw that he had to bear the brunt of protests across Kashmir. And this was over uh, the spate of civilian killings in the valley. Uh, the party, we saw that, uh, saw faced a rout in the following elections in which the B PDP and the BJP coalition took over. So clearly, there are electoral and political compulsions uh, uh, that Omar Abdullah faces to perform as uh, the chief minister. But he's also in some ways uh, committed uh, to the statehood. How do you see the new chief minister navigating uh, both of this, uh, maintaining a cordial working relationship with the center that's important to ensure security of uh, JNK and also to his political promises to the people of Jammu and Kashmir? Uh, first of all, Vasundra, thank you for calling me to the show. If you look at the mandate that the national conference has gotten, it has been decisive. Out of 90 seats, I mean, if you look at this, out of 90 seats in Jammu and Kashmir, 60 were taken by those uh, MLAs who had clearly not accepted the abrogation of Article 370. So this mandate was not a mandate for national conference, only for national conference. This mandate was decisively a mandate against the abrogation of Article 370, against the abrogation of Article 35A, and specifically against con converting a full-fledged state into a union territory. Now, as far as maintaining peaceful, cordial relations with the center is concerned, National Conference has always been a political party that would never want a confrontationist attitude with the center. But this also means that the rights of people of Jammu and Kashmir will have to be in turn respected by the central government. This also means that the central government should not say that people of Jammu and Kashmir, unlike people of other states do not have the good sense to take control of their own law and order and situation. And therefore, we will get to decide for them who controls their law and order. Right. This would also mean that the central government uh, fulfill its promises that they made on the floor of the parliament on 5th August 2019 by saying that the statehood would be restored. And this would mean that the first thing that the BJP should do is instead of constantly harping on this promise, yes, we will do it, yes, we will do it, 15 lakh rupe denge, 15 lakh rupe denge, it should not become a jumla. They should okay. give us a clear timeline of when exactly are they going to return the statehood. Right. So Getting would back you, would you state, like to respond to that? Kashmir should be asked no, no, 15 lakh has not been promised. It was not 15 lakh, but in Kashmir, as much as we have given, it has never been given to Congress. This is also a fact. What did you say? You have made a state of the state. Like I mentioned, like I mentioned union territory wait for your turn. Diya. Basic courtesy, wait for your turn. You know, this is not how you debate on, a, on national television. You know, like I had mentioned, the first two part of the pro the first two promises have been fulfilled, and the third will be uh, fulfilled in in the near future. But yes, having seen the history of National Conference and Congress Party, every time the two of them have come together, we have seen what happened post uh, 1987 elections where right. militants shot up. So yes, we need to be extremely circumspect. We need to be careful. Having said that, the centre will support. The, uh, the state government in every possible way to for Kashmir to move forward. Okay. Uh, Ifra, uh, quickly before I go to Neja Chaudhary for the last word. You see, when we saw when Kashmir was plunged into violence in 1989, it was BJP government that was supporting the VP Singh's government at centre and they dismissed the National Conference government in Jammu and Kashmir. So this person needs, the BJP spokesperson really needs to read up his okay. facts. Uh, last word Number from Neeta Chaudhary, ma'am, no, National no, Conference it? was also the first party to file did, uh, the petition of the Supreme Abdullah Court challenging the validity years. of uh, Article 370. Do you see that becoming the centre of governance or it's going to be pragmatic politics uh, uh, from the side of NC? What do you think, think is going from, to happen? I think from the early comments that have been made by Dr. Farooq Abdullah, but more important by uh, Omar Abdullah, is that they're going, not going to concentrate on Article 370. They're going to concentrate on the restoration of the, uh, statehood to Jammu and Kashmir and to get on with development issues. The, at least those are the notes that have started. Mr. Sinha, I will, uh, eight cheese I would want to just say, you know, in the way you formulated it. We Jammu and Kashmir ko itna kuch to diya hai. This is the right of Jammu and Kashmir as part of India. 
जो आपने दिया है नहीं नहीं आप जो मतलब उनको वो मांग रहे हैं उनको दिया आई मीन आई दैट्स नॉट अ फॉर्मूला प्लीज आई थिंक दिस वाज एग्जैजरेटिंग माय स्टफ ऑफ यू नो दिस इज जस्ट कंप्लीटली वी कंप्लीटली आउट ऑफ टाइम थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर जॉइनिंग मी ऑन दिस ब्रॉडकास्ट ओमर अब्दुल्ला वाज हैज बीन यूनानिमसली इलेक्टेड एज द लीडर ऑफ द एनसी लेजिस्लेटिव पार्टी बट ऑफ कोर्स मेनी चैलेंजेस देयर बट आल्सो अ न्यू बिगिनिंग फॉर जेएनके दैट हैज गॉन थ्रू सो मच टाइम फॉर अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक फॉर न्यूज़ एंड अपडेट्स ऑन द